Ja, vi rider svært. Skal vi? For them to move about, less gravity needs to be about one third of today. The earliest reports from scientists are usually the most revealing before they have time to recover from shock and wake up. Like we said, there is something like a vast computer program into which we insert a few input parameters and the population of neighboring objects. Observation and then derive the complete evolution of the planet. Should Carl Sagan, in a scientific American of September 1975, wrote, the ultimate objective of comparative planetology, it might be said, is something like a vast computer program into in which we insert a few input parameters and the population of neighboring objects marks of lightning imprinted on the surface, unimagined by geologists. Global tectonics is a failed paradigm because it assumes undisturbed evolution. Ground war split. The first law of computing is science based, based on computers, computers generated by working line virtual garbage in equals garbage out. Epitomize the observation and then derive the complete evolution of the planet. <laughs> Jeg har hørt mange bedste i det forgælde, hvor der kan være over for mig, men jeg må jo snakke sig i gang. Hvor er det nøjt så snævlig. Så ser vi ikke dine æsene her, hva? Hvor er det nøjt? <laughs> End of quote. Say again, no, statement. It wasn't just pterodactyls that struggled to get up off the ground. Scaling of muscle and bone strength shows the dinosaurs for them to move about. This gravity needs to be about one third of the cell. The homogeneous gas planet provides the general background rather than how they speculations. The advent of magnetohydrodynamics about 25 years ago. Of course, we're getting Visit because all the measurements say there's very low pressure in the animal kingdom. In solar system, demise of the dinosaurs through sky systems, as well as causing the footprints to stand in gravity. Global extinction and fossilization requires far more. The devastating effects than a simple impact. Clearly, gravity electron understanding of the cause of the question is a gigantic and experimental and theoretical progress in solar and magnetic. And magnetospheric physics. And this comes face point, it is possible this to go a step further fully understood. and invoke several processes of effect Titan the plasma discharge model. Was Titan captured that would affect the earlier by protosat in the major electrical event in its recent history? This is hinted at by Titan's eccentric orbit, which cannot have persisted for billions of years. And isotopes will separate in the combined electric and magnetic fields of the cosmic plasma discharge. Nitrogen, in so in the same way, gets busy. Uh, you've got Venus with its heavy carbon dioxide atmosphere. How did the uh, electrical... The 
planet shows a surprisingly young surface that gave rise to the electric universe accounts for planes its hellish temperature, their unnecessary recently clean interior of a brown dwarf star. And its thick 96% carbon dioxide and 4% nitrogen atmosphere uh, was inherited by planets in their conventional habitable zone. This suggests there are a large number hidden inside the red star's globe. And you can say that too because our gas giants all have large numbers of satellites orbiting quite closely. But you'll note there is no Venus with this. Electrical sky, the the main planes. But Venus is the old one out. Intrusive metal rock pole of granite signifies the surface of subterranean telluric currents. The large number of close orbiting gas giants are recently in the star. Spotty brown dwarf, which suggests the electric efficient relay and its shape and nebula accretion, causing a dimming. Gas giants have also been discovered at distances from the stars which they would have to see. Yeah, cool. We're, We're very interested in all of these possible series of stars being discovered as a surface. There's something slight break. We come to see what you Venus, Saturn's last rest, or here we go, the Earth witnessed by humanity. So, proto Saturn changed from being a star <coughs> that is an anode in interstellar space to becoming a cathode, and like old cathodes, some surface material is a liquid ejected and the body may fragment. The Earth's unique oceanic basins with their mid-oceanic raised ridges and orthogonal coronal pattern. If you have a, a powerful discharge, high voltage discharge, you get to you this geometry discharge. I would suggest that, which may have provided some additional Roger Westcott makes clear, we may have no future as we do not understand our irrational behavior. Velikovsky is a psychoanalyst, how his most important clear was diligent kind of to destroy each other, was to help us understand this is a catastrophic past, and by so doing, begin to heal from those psychic wounds. Many more bodies than you see. Fear is a great cattle prize. Instead, they are expected, based on that. So it explains why there are so many hot with this issue who have been found closely organized by the It explains the expulsion rings of many satellites of the gas giant planets in our solar system. The fact that Saturn's are the most spectacular indicates that it was the last and most recent. <coughs> the simple method of identifying related objects in the solar system is to look at their axial tilts because in the close relationship between a gas giant or a brown dwarf and its close orbiting satellites, there will generally be phase lock. And its satellites, close orbiting the satellites phase. therefore will have their rotation axis aligned with the, the parent. Having the same degree of axial tilt is the kind of thing. Boring. Each planet has its own birth drama and complex history. This is why the characteristics of the action is a complete fruit of objects with all sorts of different surfaces. They are all they may be individual the same family. There is no nebula. This explains why the Earth is Mars and Venus appear so differently. And the ad hoc suggestion of migration of planets only serves to confuse them. All the electric universe does is work with the forensic evidence about the recent most chapter in the uh, most recent chapter, the future solar system history. Professor Westcott is right. Mankind's survival is astonishing. Of course, there are reports globally of dreadful heat and cold. It seems to be that part of the answer for our solar system is the great progress of the the flare ejects composition of very depending on the depth from which matter is stretched up and the chances of how much weight that ejected matter can give us insights about the proto-saturnian. This, I think, explains the water and so the rings of Saturn are a water ice remnant of flaring activity. And the first question is, why continents and oceans of water? There's no other body in the solar system with continents and oceanic-type basins like the Earth. Each planet has its own story of electrical birth, 
and the scars of interplanetary thunderbolts in order to achieve orbital harmony. This is where the battles change of electricity are relevant. Now this is the really interesting thing is Earth, the former satellite from its uh, ground dwarf parent, was subsequent. The amount of nitrogen lost by the pollution in the atmosphere is relatively small compared to the amount of carbon dioxide. But because the atmosphere is so much thicker than that on Earth, its total nitrogen content is roughly four times higher than the Earth. But Venus Even may have begun Earth, with more nitrogen, up to about more like the Earth. Earth. Now nitrogen, and this is uh, understood as uh, is catalyzed by hot iron atoms to carbon monoxide. The two molecules have very little energy difference. So if you get a, a, a catalytic uh, effect on a hot iron surface, it will convert nitrogen to carbon monoxide. The surface gives you carbon dioxide and hydrogen. The hydrogen being heavy light tends to be Still, like Venus is ten times a higher ratio of deuterium to hydrogen. Now, notably, if water is being consumed and dissolving UV light, it's totally inadequate. There is an explanation of the associations of the Venus is Venus carried away significant charge from its parents, so the thicker the atmosphere, the more filamentary the surface light was detected back in the 80s. And its mountains glow with plasma discharges that reflect radar. This puzzled the uh, scientists greatly. Why are the mountains so shiny when we look at them in radar? phase lock with Pluto Saturn. So we look at Saturn. In 2004, these surface features were uh, predicted before they were revealed in detail by the Huygens group from the Cassini spacecraft. This was the only model to predict the surface features of smog shrouded Titan. Titan being a, a huge moon which would be classed as a planet if it was uh, separate from Saturn. In Cassini's Homecoming, I wrote, a scenario follows that is so alien to any conventional theory of Saturn's history that it should be easily tested against information gained from Cassini. Until recently, Saturn was an independent ground dwarf star with its own entourage of close orbiting small planets. And uh, Dave uh, uh, Talbot alluded to those last night with the circling objects around the god of stories. So what was discovered in the first close flyby of Titan? Titan images well, that its first big surface of Saturn was tight that last week. The images were taken as Cassini's Cassini Huygens spacecraft swept past the moon. The images show a landscape that is clearly still being shaped. Although Titan must have seen numerous meteor impacts in the past, its surface today is largely crater free. Once again, just like Venus. Somehow these scars must have been eroded. We are seeing a place that is alive, that geologically speaking. Some yeah. says Charles Zulaki, this is what they said about Venus. It must have been the entire surface recently. That's precisely what was said about Venus when the Magellan Orbiter revealed that, pl that planet's surface. It is only supposition that Titan's surface is still being shaped. It is based on the belief that Titan must have suffered numerous meteor impacts in the past, and therefore something must have occurred from within the Moon to fill the craters. However, like Venus, there may have been no impact craters to fill. Some initial comments by Cassini team members accompanying this picture in the little insert there of Titan from the descending Huygens probe reflected on the Venus-like appearance of features on Titan. These remind me of the these before the events on Venus. Another quote, we now have the key to understanding what shapes Titan's landscape said Dr. Martin Tomasco, the investigator for the descent in Virginia. He added, geological evidence for precipitation, erosion, mechanical abrasion and other fluvial activity says that the physical processes shaping Titan are much the same as those shaping Earth. Oh yeah. But non-polar liquid methane is not like liquid water, as Jerry Pollack would tell anyone. 
In the atmosphere, such molecules form smog, not heavy raindrops. This demonstrates the problem of interpreting evidence when your thinking is limited to flowing liquids to carve channels. Channels on Titan bear the hallmarks of lightning imprinted on the surface. The devastating face of Mars shows that we are still receiving Mars rocks on Earth today. But the evidence of Mars at that point is the most reasonable to predict the period of this itself in the sky of Phoenix and the impact of the Sun. And the actual tilts of Saturn, Earth, and Mars are very simple. Titan is very important to study because it may be a sibling of the Earth, Mars, and Venus. It's an enigma having a massive atmosphere, mainly of nitrogen, with a pressure of the surface 1.6 times that of Earth's air at sea level. This is for a smaller body. And anomalously high nitrogen 15 levels in a 95% nitrogen 14 atmosphere. Body more than 4 billion years old. The Electric Universe was the only model to predict the surface features before standard and photographed it. And that was based on the kind of electrical sculpting seen on Venus, Mars and Earth. So you want to know where the Earth's water came water from? Water molecules dominate the spectra of brown dwarfs. No other bodies in the system were visible. There are no seasons, no tropics, and no ice caps. The planet does not have to rotate. Its axis can point in any direction and its orbit can be eccentric and you'll still get this beautiful... The white on Earth can do and the purple can be continuous mist of water. Plastic to start with the last to be the head of the arboretum while they did that and said the plant's growing up better in red light. In shell, uh, the radiant energy received from that envelope is constant over the entire globe. The light from the plasma sphere is not reflected light, it's a uh, radiant energy. The ground dwarfs radiate blue and ultraviolet light, even though they are cool in the temperature around 950 K. This is further evidence that we are looking at the of electric and red and electric and coronal. This explains the abundant water on Earth and many satellites that get to those planets and the rings of Saturn. And the red light energy we see was our planet is too strong to have a blue and red energy. Show me the way you pass your thought in. Red and the cannons are in the room. Be your flight of your will be my hand for speed sack. I'm <laughs> 